There's 16 universities that compete in the EcoCar Challenge. The main goal is to uh, reduce petroleum energy use as well as greenhouse gas emissions while uh, maintaining consumer acceptability. In EcoCar Challenge, the real benefit is empowerment, I feel. So you always see on the news, you hear people talking about how there's so many problems we're facing, energy security, climate change, uh, economic crisis with, with fuel here. As engineers, we have some of the tools to help solve those problems, and this competition really helps us uh, move from talking about it to doing something about it. Challenging yourself is probably one of the best things you can ever do because everyone in the whole organization from industry all the way to the student body has a lot of respect for a big challenge. We've got one electric machine here as well as the compressed natural gas engine that was converted to E85. This touchscreen allows the driver to monitor different parameters inside the vehicle, um, electrical, mechanical, diagnostics information. Our battery pack is different than most teams in that it is completely air-cooled. We're in the uh, Georgia Tech car, uh, their entry into the competition using a 1.6 liter gasoline E85 capable engine. So you can kind of see uh, the capability of electrification where they can go from a very large utility vehicle like a Yukon down to uh, a small crossover and a front-wheel drive configuration like this. We've hired over a hundred uh, new engineers off of this program. Uh, because we do have access to the best and the brightest, uh, but it's also kind of a, a training ground. Who can perform under the stress? Who wants to work in this industry? Who's got the passion and the desire to work on sustainability and, and the problems and, and uh, solutions around it? And, and to be honest with you, we all have to work at this together. Industry like General Motors, government like the DOE, but it also has to be the private sector, uh, businesses. We've got uh, over 50 sponsors here. We have to put our combined resources and intelligence together to make this sustainability a reality. This is training the new Padre Van Meters with real hands-on experience on a real project that really matters that you have to eventually sit in and drive, pass all the safety standards, and then uh, be competitive, uh, not only in gas mileage, but also in performance. So is this in the Volt? kind of design where it sits and charges the battery or it's a it's in the Prius design where it can it can actually boost the it's it's the a it's a mixture of both. It, yeah it was cost I mean I think also the volt's a lot quieter uh, you know because yeah. the diesel's a little a little uh, you know a little quieter a little louder. Think about this you're doing sixteen different experiments and you can look at uh, actually how these sixteen different experiments can be used uh, in a way that perhaps GM using professional engineers might not be able to trace every test. So there's there's opportunities, there's systems integration that they've done that might be novel. We have an electric traction motor on the rear that gives us ability to go 54 miles as a pure EV. And then after that, we uh, use it to low level this. 21 kilowatt hours, is that the usable kilowatt hours? Is that the full capacity? If you absolutely had to, you can use all of that. Yeah, but that you fill the battery. Because after. of reliability. Yeah. We chose to go about only 85 uh, percent. Oh, that. so you're using 85. So we're using most of it, but not all. Oh, okay. This is what it's all about: training the next generation of engineers in the automobile industry in the United States, so that we can remain leaders in this area. Finishing my undergrad in the fall, so I will be helping out with the start of Eco Cartel. I'm going to be going into industry for a startup that's doing battery testing at a company called uh, Car Technologies that started up out of Ohio State Center for Automotive Research. Uh, I'm actually moving uh, up to Michigan. I'll be working for General Motors along with five other students from our, for my team. Uh, so because of working on EcoCar, I've uh, decided to go work on the automotive industry.